my name is Mira Schriedren. And my name is Maria Wilrich. We'll be discussing our article, Diagnostic Utility of Complement Serology for Atypical Hemolytic Uremic Syndrome, which was drafted within a multidisciplinary group with blended expertise from the clinical and laboratory medicine worlds. Thrombotic microangiopathies are a clinical pathological disorder characterized by microvascular angiopathic hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, and end organ damage. Thrombotic microangiopathies, or TMAs, can be due to a multitude of etiologies. Many people are familiar with thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, or TTP, a disorder due to congenital or acquired ADMTS13 deficiency, or hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is secondary to shigatoxin infection. TMAs can also be due to other disorders, such as malignant hypertension, or secondary to certain medications. In addition to the secondary causes of TMA, another form of TMA is atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome, or AHUS, which is due to the dysregulation of the alternative pathway of complement. The complement system consists of three different pathways, classical, alternative, and then lactin mannose binding. Though the recognition molecules will vary between the different pathways, they all converge into a C3-mediated amplification loop by pathway-specific C3 convertases. The alternative pathway is unique in that it's always active at low levels in a surveillance role. Complement activation is controlled by a set of membrane-bound and then fluid phase regulators to prevent overactivation. Any imbalance between the acting and the regulatory mechanisms caused by genetic variants or acquired autoantibodies against the complement components may trigger disease processes. TTP can be diagnosed by measuring ADMTS13 activity levels, while hemolytic uremic syndrome can be diagnosed by the presence of shigatoxin. However, the diagnosis of AHUS is one of exclusion, and there are currently no clear diagnostic criteria or a gold standard laboratory assay for diagnosis of AHUS. The use of quantitative serology complement assays in AHUS has been previously described. However, a uniform panel of complement analytes offering consistent diagnostic results has not been reported. A nine-analyte panel became available in January 2015, and it's described in Table 1 of our manuscript. It covers complement classical and alternative pathway functions, complement proteins, and activation markers. In our study, we aimed to assess our practices in ordering this complement serology panel, as well as determining its clinical utility for the diagnosis of AHUS. In our study, we reviewed complement panel orders placed from January 2015 to November 2016. Patient diagnoses for use of the panel was determined by a chart review. Patient final diagnosis was based on a combination of clinical and laboratory data. Importantly, in this study, complement serology was not used to determine patient final diagnoses, as it was thought that this would skew analysis assessing clinical utility of complement serology. Patients with TMA were grouped into having a diagnosis of secondary TMA or atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome. The most common reason for ordering the complement serology panel was for evaluation of TMA and to differentiate complement mediated TMA or AHUS from other secondary TMA. Out of the 147 unique patients shown in Table 2, 44 had complement serology panel for a TMA. 11 patients only had TMA evident on renal biopsy, while 33 had TMA with peripheral signs, meaning that they had evidence of thrombocytopenia and microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Of patients with peripheral signs of TMA, 8 patients met clinical criteria for diagnosis of AHUS while 25 had a diagnosis of secondary TMA. We reviewed complement analyte abnormalities in those 44 patients with TMA and compared results of the ones who had AHUS with those who had other forms of TMA. 
all patients with AHES had one or more abnormality in the alternative pathway of complement. Although the sensitivity of this finding for diagnosis of AHES is 100%, the specificity is only 28%, with a positive likelihood ratio of 1.4. So given the poor specificity of each individual finding in isolation, our data supports the use of a panel of analytes. We found that patients with AHUS had lower CH50, C3, and factor B when compared to other forms of TMA. A combination of factor B, less than 21 milligrams per deciliter, and CH50, less than 56%, led to a better balance of 75% sensitivity with increased specificity of 89% and then a diagnostic odds ratio of 24. Weaknesses of our study included the small sample size of AHAS patients and lack of control of the timing of when the panel was obtained in relation to when the patient received plasma exchange. For the most meaningful diagnostic interpretation, the panel should be checked before plasma exchange or echolizumab initiation. Therefore, though a low CH50 and factor B support the diagnosis of AHUS, our results alone are not sufficient to indicate these findings are necessary for a diagnosis, especially considering that 50% of our patients with clinical diagnosis of AHUS had initial testing performed after plasma exchange. However, our results demonstrate that when used in conjunction with clinical presentation, abnormalities in complement serology can support a physician's clinical acumen in the diagnosis of AHUS. In addition to aiding the diagnosis of AHUS, complement serology analysis can also be useful to identify individuals with secondary TMA who also have a concomitant complement amplifying condition. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.